I want to discuss um, a function on the TI BA2 Plus calculator that's actually kind of useful for finance, but one that you may not think of. And that's the date function. Now you get the date function by hitting second and the number one key. That brings up the date function. And what it does is it gives us two dates. This is the first date, uh, 12 31 1990. And if we scroll down, it gives us a second date. And then if we scroll down again, it gives us the days between the dates. Now, let's just um, take a look here. Let's go to the first, um, first date. And let's say we want it to be January 1st of 2000. So I'm going to put in 1 dot zero one zero zero. So you always put in, in two decimal places, you really can't put in zero, 01, it'll just register as one, but you put in the month and then a dot and then you put in the day and the year and you hit enter and you can see we get January 1st, 2000. Let's say we have a second date and let's say the second date is December 31st of 2020. So let's put in that. Okay, so 12.3120, enter. And we scroll down and we can hit compute and we can see there are 7,670 days in between. Now, why would you be interested in knowing this? Well, for example, if you were using the Black-Scholes option pricing model, you need to convert the days until the, the option expires into years. And maybe you know what day the option is purchased or what day you're valuing it. And you also know when it expires, but you don't know exactly how many days. And it's kind of a nuisance to count. So you can use this, this calculator to calculate the number of days and then you can divide by 365 to determine you know what fraction of a year that is so that can be kind of useful for doing that sort of calculation what else you can also do in this um, date function is you can put in the days between dates and it will tell you what date you end at so let's just scroll back up our first date was January 1st of 2000 and our last date was December 31st of 2020, but suppose we wanted it to be 525 days from that first date. If we hit enter, we can go back here and hit compute, and it tells us that would be June 9th of 2001. So it does these calculations for us, and you can probably think of other reasons to use this date count, but one good one is for valuing bonds or for valuing um, options that have certain expiration dates where we know when we're purchasing it or when we're valuing it and when it matures and we don't you know we don't want to go through the process of counting you know there's 30 days in June and there's 31 days in July we can simply use this function so this is kind of a handy uh, function to use for some of our finance calculations.